Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do the Booksgiving tag. And this is, of course, the second Thanksgiving tag that I am doing. This one was created by Sophie at Sophie's Series. Like the first Thanksgiving tag, I will have the link to the original video down in the description box. So make sure to check that out. I will also be tagging several people at the end of the video and I will have them linked down below as well. So make sure that if I tag you, try to do this tag before Thanksgiving or you can save it till next year, whatever. But I really liked these questions. They were very unique. Um, I will also link my first Thanksgiving tag that I did in the description box for you as well. This is as if you're having your Thanksgiving dinner, this big feast, and you're having everybody over and all the kind of personality types that go along with that. And then you use book characters for that. So let me go ahead and get into the questions. For The Wrangler and The Savior, I am picking The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. For The Wrangler, I am choosing Katniss because she could like use her arrow. She has really good trapping skills. So I figured she could wrangle a turkey for us. But the savior of the turkey is Prim from this story as well. Um, because I just think that she's very like healing and helpful and like loves animals. <laughs> Drama King, I have chose Jericho Barons from the Dark Fever series or the Michaela Lane novel series. Um, I just picked this first one, Dark Fever, but Jericho Barons has a very like his temperament, he's either up or down, and you can never tell. So he is definitely the drama king at this Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> of like a space cadet character but I'm choosing Kath from Fangirl and the reason why I'm choosing Kath is because her head's in the clouds with her fan fiction of Simon and Snow so I'm picking her because while she may not be like a space cadet per se I think that she would set everything on fire because she would be daydreaming about her fan fiction. <laughs> loner I chose Kate's father Mr. Harker for um, the loner because let's be honest nobody wants to spend any time with him a perfectionist would be Anna from Anna and the French Kiss there was nothing about Anna in particular that made me think that she would be a perfectionist but I do think that she would want everybody to have a really good time and for that reason she would be trying to make sure that everybody had a lot of fun and was enjoying themselves and everybody was enjoying what they were eating and liking it so I could see her being a little bit of a perfectionist in that way. And I thought about someone that would drink too much on Thanksgiving Day would be Thorn from the Lunar Chronicle series by Marissa Meyer. I chose Cress because this is the book that I really fell in love with his character and he's so snarky anyway so I could just imagine him drinking and like everybody's just like oh my gosh he went off the deep end so definitely Captain Thorn from the Lunar Chronicles. <laughs> So I'm not really like not thankful for any books even if I DNF a book I am smart enough to know that um, I may not like it but it's written for someone else I mean we all have likes and dislikes and that's what's so beautiful about booktube and books is that while a book may not be for you someone else may love it in fact it could be their favorite book so I'm not really like not thankful for any of the books that I have read this year or any year of course it's a bummer when you DNF a book but I did um, my very first book that I read this year. It was called Hurt Go Happy by Jenny Rorby. And I picked this up because the character in the main character um, learns sign language from a chimpanzee. And that's like what, since I was doing um, interpreting American Sign Language interpreting at the time at college, I had like sign language on the brain all the time. And I was looking for more books where there are deaf characters or American Sign Language present. And that's what I went into this book for, for that particular thing. But it wasn't really the focus of the book at all. And I don't really think it was done 
particularly well. So while I wasn't not thankful for this book, I absolutely am because at least it did have those um, bits of American Sign Language in it and it did bring it to the forefront of like, hey, this is a thing. Um, I just, it wasn't what I was expecting. I wanted more of the American Sign Language. So I guess if you're gonna say I was unthankful for a book, it would be that one because it wasn't what I was looking for, but I still gave the book three stars. I am the most thankful for this year that would be After the Woods by Kim Savage and I have a whole video on why I am thankful for this book and this author. Um, quick version I spent almost a year looking for a physical copy of this book. Couldn't find one anywhere. The author herself sent me one of her author copies. It's autographed. I loved the story. Can't wait to read more from her so thumbs up from me. question is name one random thing that I am super thankful for and I am so blessed and privileged that it's hard for me to name just one random thing. There are so many things I am thankful for. I'm thankful for my husband. I'm thankful for us our realtor that helped us find this house that we live in now. I'm thankful for my bookcases. I'm thankful for all of my books and my friends that I've made through booktube. I'm thankful that for the majority all of my family and friends are healthy and happy. I'm thankful that my brother-in-law and his family are coming to visit for Christmas. I'm thankful for this new camera that my husband bought me. Um, I'm thankful for just everything, for my animals, for having a job, Job, for just everything. I'm thankful for so much stuff and I'm thankful for you guys for watching my videos and supporting me. I am over 1,000 subscribers now which is just mind-blowing to me. I hope that you guys know that I appreciate you, each and every one of you, even if you don't subscribe but you watch my channel. Um, I just you guys mean the world to me, so I'm thankful for you as well. But that's all for this tag. I am going to tag the following people. I'm gonna put their names here as well as in the description box. And I just hope that everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you celebrate, it's coming up. It's right around the corner. It's kind of crazy that the year's like just unfolding so quickly. But have a safe day, have a fun day, enjoy your family and friends. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, you know, just have a wonderful day anyway. Um, and yeah, have a lovely day. Bye!